Hi everyone, I'm Danielle Knight from Study All Night. Thanks for tuning into this Facebook Live on how to use Google Earth to locate any place in the world and get the exact latitude and longitude of that location. Now, how would we use this uh, in a classroom? I like to use it as an escape room clue. I will uh, lead the students on a trail, uh, like I'll put the, uh, maybe a location from uh, the literature and I'll have them go find it on Google Earth and ask them with the latitude and longitude and maybe that could be a part of solving the lock. So there's a lot of people struggling with this because I don't think they know that this feature is available on Google Earth. So let's take a look. We're gonna do a screen share and here is Google Earth. Now you can access Google Earth right in your browser or you can go on the app if you're on a tablet or an iPhone. Uh, both features are the same, but there might be a different placement for the features on the iPhone and the tablet. But I like to use Google Earth on my laptop or a Chromebook. So here is the Earth. We're familiar with our planet. Um, up here in the left corner, you have a magnifying glass. Now for this demonstration tonight, I picked three locations. We are gonna find um, first Harper Lee, who's American author of To Kill a Mockingbird, we are going to find her birthplace. Now, most likely this could be a clue um, for a, an escape room for To Kill a Mockingbird, or it could be an escape room clue that you can uh, possibly use for a Harper Lee themed escape room. So, I don't know where she lives. I'm sorry, I don't know where she was born. Let's pretend that for a moment. So, they would read a passage Maybe you would ask them, so they would come here. And let's say the clue is find Harper Lee's um, birthplace. So they would type in, let's, let's move my screen. You would type in Harper Lee's birthplace. Now, the search feature on Google Earth, I believe is powered by Google but the excerpts that they pull up are typically from Wikipedia. So we're gonna go ahead and click the magnifying glass. And it takes us to Monroeville, Alabama in the United States. And here is our map. Okay, so that's a satellite view of Monroeville, Alabama. Now, let's say the question though for the lock is to take the exact latitude and longitude coordinates. So how do I get that? Because I don't see it here on the screen. So down here in, in the right corner, you have some icons. The icon with the little person on it is the street view. So you would click on that, and there it is. Up in the top right corner, you see the latitude and longitude coordinates. Um, I, For an escape room for that lock, I would ask for just the numbers with no spaces. So that's how you get the exact latitude and longitude. Now let's say you wanted to zoom in Sorry, you would click on the marker on the map and you would then, let's say I wanna fly in here. And here we go, we're gonna fly into the location and get a really great close up of Monroeville, Alabama. And we're on a highway here, this is great. So people like you and me, we can upload um, these uh, uh, photospheres to Google Earth, and you see them a lot on Google Maps, so you can see like an up, and cl up close view of the location that you are doing research on. Okay, so now we're gonna leave Monroeville. I'm gonna click out of it. Let's go back. I'm gonna move my screen again. Let's see, we'll move the screen here. We're gonna go back to our, um, our magnifying glass. So now I wanna find the British Golf Museum, which is on my list of places to visit one day in my life, I'd love to go to St. Andrew's Golf Course in um, over in Europe. So we're gonna put in the British Golf Museum. And there we have it. I believe this is it. We're, yep, it's in St. Andrew's, Scotland. I know that. So we're going to fly over to Scotland. And here we are. I, oh, very nice. Look, it's right on the coast. Very beautiful place. And if you just want to look around before you get the latitude and longitude, you can see how beautiful the golf course is. It's really pretty. Let's go back to our British Golf Museum. So we're going to click on the marker. 
And here is our latitude and longitude up in the right hand corner. Now I was already in street view. So that's why that showed up automatically. So that's great. So you could see it right there. I have my cursor on so you can see it. So if I was to ask this question in a classroom, what is the latitude and longitude coordinates? That is the exact coordinates. You don't want to use the coordinates down in the right hand corner. They're just, they never they never match up really with what's in the gray box up in the right hand corner. So encourage your students to always stick with the gray box. Okay, so we're going to do one more location before I sign off. How about we look up Sherlock Holmes Museum? Now, did you like how it's not like the autocomplete here? So the Sherlock Holmes Museum I know is in London. It's on Baker Street. It's a very famous landmark. It was actually his home. And um, it's really cool. If you're ever in London and you want to see it, I've never been, but the pictures are extraordinary. So but I love British literature, so there's a lot of cool um cool things left in his house, uh, just like in place as though he still lives there. So if you click on Sherlock Holmes, Sherlock Holmes Museum, it's gonna take us to London. And there we go. You're going to click on the marker. And we are not in street view, so in that case, you would go to the street view icon down in the right corner, and there are the latitude and longitude uh, coordinates that show up in the right corner. So it's pretty easy, right? And really um, a lot of fun, I think, if you're on Google Earth and you want to travel the world, you want to see different locations, especially if you tie them into literature, it's a great activity. And I especially love using it in an escape room. Uh, so I hope you don't struggle with this task after watching my demonstration and you have a new appreciation for Google Earth. So thanks a lot, everybody, for tuning in, and I hope you enjoyed this. Have a great night.